so uh good morning good evening good afternoon uh we are on twitch uh hello youtube so i will continue today to do the um stream of let's play of captain Vet meteor and uh, we stopped last time on the story of chrome from the manga hard gear uh, and he was searching for uh, a child called uh, Rue and that's a story in the manga so today we will see um, the story of uh, Gabi Maru from Jigokuraku or Hell's, Hell's Paradise I think his name is in English and before to start that generally I, I like to talk a little bit just have a you know little news what's happening on our side or like what I feel or think about things in general so lately I'm trying to as much as I can I'm trying to try to link and connect more with uh, you guys I mean with the community with people in general with other developers as well with um, people who can help us do what we don't do well simply say like now i'm doing those streams right uh, i like to talk i like to be I'm, I'm, i don't have a problem being in front of people uh, because i did maybe because i don't know maybe it's personality stuff but like i you know, you know i i did uh, dancing for uh, six seven years uh lately uh in my <laughs> like I, I lately like two years ago i i kind of slow down all that but i was doing you know stages and stuff, stuff like that and i learned to just be relaxed in front of people so that's good but um that's just a part of it you know when you want to be how you say like link with people generally for me it must be natural right but internet is far from natural it's like it's a different type of natural you, you need to be natural but also you need to think stuff ahead and uh, and plan stuff and uh, and schedule stuff and and put the right whatever the right image and the right place at the right moment and uh, or or maybe throw a lot of message everywhere links everywhere until you have a gathering point let's say for us it would be discord oh good transition if you are not on discord yet like you have the link in the, ch in the chat or uh, under the description of this video so please uh click join us say hello um yeah i really want to to make to not be alone i, I mean i feel I'm not an alone developer, right? Uh, like you have those games where you have only one guy working on it and having outsource. We are not, I'm not alone. We are a team, but I'm kind of alone doing the, the decisions and, and, and moving forward. Like uh, if we want to do something with the community, that's me deciding like, let's move with the community because the, the other guys are like the engineers, for example, they work the time they have to work and it's really like it's defined like, um, and it depends also on on the money we have like they are um, yeah they are engineers so they work on engineer stuff and uh, i do all the rest so like for all this community management uh making things fun also and interesting for you guys and uh, and uh, to be able to have a healthy but interesting discussion it's a lot it's a lot so i'm i i sent a, a message on twitter trying to like uh, ask for help any help um and some some people uh contact me back just to give me advice or like to to have the wheel of working with us and all that and i'm really glad of that but i hope i hope it goes further because yeah we, we did two games now none of them really like both of them have a big critical um mark or like ranking if i can say but none of them have enough player for the player to be interested in us something like that or it maybe it's what i feel uh now if you follow if you follow the the yeah if you follow the story until now you understand that um 
even if it could be on our part because we didn't take everything in our hands because we are not self-published um, but mainly it's the it's the it's not on our side like uh, the, the game has good reviews you know like the game has have uh, really like a good score it's a good game people like it when they know it and when they play it they really we receive pretty good re uh, return um, and so it's always the same problem how to make the game visible and and, uh, and us and for the future I mainly if, if those game is over it's over right but like from now on like I don't want to do the mistake a third time and so I'm trying to build also yeah, a community. Like the first time we did uh, uh, Spirit, we were really playing and not really knowing what we did. But in the same time, we had more um, back and forth with the player. Uh, yeah, with the people. Let's say we did a uh, um, what was that? Like super art where people, like artists or people who wanted, could take our character and we would uh, share their art on our website and it's still on the website if you go uh, on momopai uh under spirit you will see all the fan art but it's not really fan art for us it was support art because they supported us by doing an art and we would try to support them by showing and and you know and so i would like to do those kind of stuff but i feel you know i cannot do it alone and and i want someone someone's or people are like uh a whole community of people sharing helping and that I can help back to be stronger in that side in terms of development I think we are quite now experienced um, but in terms of socially I, I guess we are socially awkward people and since I was the less, like the more open, I am the open, but I live in Japan and so Japan is not the, the country to make you more open, quite the opposite. So I don't know if I changed a little bit and I'm less, um, you know, less, <laughs> I, I, huh, difficult to say, but like I'm more closed on myself maybe, I don't know. I would not like that to be the case, but I feel like you know, also I am a father, maybe the time or like the the trend, I don't follow the trend anymore so much. Now I just like to to, to talk on, on X Twitter, um, on stuff with my personal account. Sometimes I would like to not have those like different account, you know, we have Momopai account, Captain Velvet, like the game account and my own account. I would like everything to be on my account or like something like that more personal but again I'm, I'm not a solo developer so uh, yeah it's a, it's a complicated maybe we, yeah I don't know whatever um, if, so if you have ideas if you can help us by uh, joining discord that's the first step uh, subscribe on, on, on Twitch subscribe on YouTube um, retweet our tweets like especially the one that are um, on top of our profile of mama by studio you know those one are the mo most important and every little stuff you do like will help us also get motivated like now we are 36 followers on, t on twitch the goal is 40 but the real goal is 50 because once we reach 50 then i can start to make um the the, the main page of 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 Twitch a little bit prettier and because it's prettier maybe more people will come and it will be more fun and we can talk about stuff and also I don't want to stop like talking only about us and our games like it would be nice to as as I said like to have other people games um, discover the news like uh, you know do stuff together more than um, just me playing like having having some ideas i'm sure like stuff will happen but now like here the goal is to do the whole game uh, um, let's play of captain velvet once it's finished probably i will do then the let's play of persephone because it's the two games we have and uh, if we dry out of content at that point and i will 
I've said everything about the probably the development of uh, Persephone and Captain Velvet Meteor. Maybe we can talk about other stuff like you know the the more people we be there, the more interesting subject we will be able to talk about. Um, yeah, so that's uh, a little bit what I wanted to to say in introduction for this live, and then we can dive in, Captain Velvet Meteor, and we are in the room of Damien. You know that the name of Damia actually comes from my best friend's name um, in Switzerland. And during a talk, I promised him, not promised, but I said, you know what? The next game, the character will be named uh, from you. And uh, when Captain Velvet Meteor was starting to be developed, then I was like, oh, cool. So the child will be called Damia. So I wonder if we hear the sound good enough. It seems so. Can we hear anything? I don't seem to hear anything on my side, so. Oh. Nope. One, two, one, two. So it's, it seems you can hear on your side, but on my side it's really, really low. Yeah, but that's the same setting that last time, so normally it must be okay. Oh, here. Okay. So we are in the room of Damia, and what we decided to do last time is to do the episode of Chigokuraku that is downstairs in the room where we put incense for uh, the dead people and so here you have the putsu down where um, people in the morning you put like incense and uh, say Good morning to your this is uh, relative relatives. From that point, we will go in the spaceship because it will be easier. As I say all the time, like I already finished the game once, so we need to start from here. But just imagine he interact with the Putsuda. I do remember you, but it's kind of far ago. You are dead. For real. Alright, that's a mission for Captain Velvet Meteor. And so today it's Captain Velvet Meteor and Gabi Maru versus Face of Death. Sector X654 ZH name lost in the fog for people who read the manga you will understand some stuff about why you have the fog and the plants and all that for people who don't know no worries the whole game doesn't need you to know any of the characters and that's really a point in uh, important to know unknown planet exploration log number 127 I succeeded in reaching a mysterious island east of our crash site. Our drones shown an abnormal sign of activity in this place. The island flora is growing and changing ex exceptionally fast and... The enemy is definitely here, but there's also something else lurking in the shadows. Uh... A thick white smoke surrounds the whole island, blocking more signals and making exploration difficult. And all of a sudden, bing, zap, room! Chief Officer JP finds a hole in the smoke and teleports out Valiant Captain. JP! You have to stop always interrupting my recordings. 
Aye, aye, Captain. Updating my system to correct this. Yeah, right. You already said that last time. Well, where was I? Um... Ah. I am now standing on a beach at the edge of the dense jungle and... Huh? Sure. Okay. In this episode, the like the manga of Gamera, he's not a talkative, talkative person, so I don't know how I will do those dot dot dot. But um, maybe I will do dot dot dot. I don't know. Stare. Who's that? He's just standing there. Gives me the creep. Did you say something, Captain? Why are you whispering? Careful, JP. I'm not alone. What? Staring. <laughs> nah. You're not like the others. You're no killer. Good. I'm not a killer? What does he mean by that? And who's this guy? I don't know, Captain. He sounds scary. Should we trust him? <laughs> Follow me. You attract too much attention here. Stay alert and try to not die. Okay, this island is this island is getting weirder and weirder. Who is this guy? So, um, as you saw last time, the other characters has um different type of attacks, right? We had until now, uh, so JP uh, with an horizontal uh, cut. We had. Uh, Hibino Kafka from Kaiju number no. eight, who had like this kind of cross type of smash, smash the ground attack. We had Princess who dash, dash through enemies in front of her. We had um, Chrome from uh, Hard Gear last time, who push like punch a monster on two tiles and they can go uh, back many tiles. And so he's uh, a little bit near Princess because he dash uh, through monsters, but he has uh, specific stuff. It is that that he burns stuff, and so that's from the manga. So he is a little bit disgusting. But he's a ninja who can use the oil of his body with a kind of ninja. He's not ninja too because I don't remember like a kind of ninja too, uh, and he can inflame the oil of his body and make fire so so that's why he can make fire and so the burning can uh, stay and kill plants and so that's a special mechanic from this episode because you have plants that uh, you cannot do anything he's the only one being able to do something with it and that is flame also like the we, we call assist combo but like the normal combo it's not uh it's a little bit further than the character like a little bit like an artillery type but what he does it is also fire all, all this episode is about fire and plants and uh but you also have monsters that are different each uh, episode have a monster that are really different <laughs> so you have the same basics one all the time in the whole game and then you have specific mechanic and enemies and traps and whatever so that's quite simple it was to learn how to make this uh, fire stuff you what a drag. Is everything okay, Captain? Yes, JP. I I'm fine. Do we still have to whisper, Captain? Anger, the scary ninja. I think his job is to murder people. To murder people? You could have told me there was someone close by. Sorry, Captain. The fox surrounding the island is disturbing my scanner. And also the strange plant growing everywhere. Something irrational about them. Making them hard to analyze. Yeah, I saw them wriggling on the ground. Lucky me. One more creepy thing to add on the list next to the scary killer ninja. You know I can hear what you say, right? No use whispering. Huh? Mm. 
Ooh. Well, it's about right. All these varieties of plant match together, evolving in an unnatural speed. Is throwing, is downright creepy. But I know this they burn easily, so be mindful of your surrounding. I clear a path for us with fire. Duly noted. My informant told me the floor activity will get higher the more we approach the center of the island. We should go there then. Cut the problem at this route. So, well, hmm. My name is Captain Velvet Meter, by the way. Weird name. Ah. Oh. You can call me Gabi Maru. Okay, Mr. Gabi Maru. Just Gabi Maru. Let's go. Level 2, reach the level end. So the f for the people joining right now, Captain Velvet Meter is a tactical game with quite dynamical and quick uh, pace type of gameplay. And uh, generally the goal is to kill all the monster or reach the end of the level, kill the boss, reach end of the level, but it, we, in a time and time, time, timed, um, what? Timed time? Yeah, whatever. And um, and you have uh, a, lo a lot of little stuff to do, like sometimes you have subquests and all that. But uh, the specificity is that each episode have its own uh, gimmicks and all. You have the base system that is the same, like instead of having like uh, different whip weapons and everything, each episode have a different character that has different attacks and therefore doing different combos with uh, Captain. And all everything is about combo and uh, not dying because like uh, both characters share the same life bar that's pretty it so enjoy <laughs> sorry one second i love the music again I love. So for uh, Chrome, the music was more like uh, mach machine type of music and all that, and now it's really more about yeah, a little bit Japanese roots, Chinese Japanese roots, uh, Asian type of music, but also still. Scary, no, not scary, like epic. You can see also like little temples around. Great, you found the exit, but one of you is still blocked. Make sure they are open paths to exit for both of you. Okay, that's not a story. That's that's kind of a story, but it's not a story. It's more like uh, explaining to the player that he needs to open the past for two players to finish the game. Uh, not the game, the level. And here we go again. More traps and spikes. Something feels artificial. Nature is clearly acting only against us here. Yeah, the enemy army is using the island flora to its advantage. Look, Gabimaru, huge flower buds. See something moving inside. No choice. Guess we're gonna burn them all. Captain, I did take another bomb falling from space to your position. Phew. This one will explode, explode in two, 12 turns. Run! I must say, it's really hard to try to find a personality for each character with my um, broken English, but it's kind of fun. Okay, so the, fo the flower buds are working a little bit like the... between the portal and the eggs that we had in Kaiju, uh, number 8. In the portal of the princess and the eggs of the occasion we made. So th those flower, as long as the, I don't burn the flower, she will create new type of 
um, Lower Trumper. <laughs> Quite cute, right? But really, uh, they they attack strongly, so I need to be careful. And I have only a few time left, but also I have optional uh, subquest to de destroy the flower. So I will try to destroy the flower. You know that I like challenges. Um, yeah. See, so now I, I with him it's quite easy to burn the flowers because he he can eat hit them and burn them in the same time. Um, but if I go with Captain, I think I need more than one uh, blow. Shit, I'm blocked. Nice. Hold on. What happened? Okay, so... Oh, he cannot kill the flower at all. I see. He didn't remember that. See? Still do this course stuff. So, uh, Captain can shoot the monsters, but not the flower themselves. Oh, he can. Only if it's open. Okay. I don't remember exactly the rules of that. Wait a second. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let's do the power combo. I really love the drawing, the style of uh, Hell's Paradise drawing, and it's kind of gory. So I, I, I like. I mean, it's it's a little bit disgusting uh, in terms of blood and, and stuff. It makes me a little bit think a mix between. Hmm, wait a second, I don't want to do. But yeah, a little bit between. Uh, uh, what's the name? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, Vagabond, you know. Vagabond, the, the manga Vagabond, and Gantz, I don't know why, because you have like the samurai part that is quite strong, and you have this like, um, oh yeah, cool. you have this um, like godlike statues and figure that, that people fight and they died, they die quite easily. And get like dismembered and a little bit, yeah. Don't show that to your kid, that's my advice. But it's really nice manga, I think it's interesting. The concept is quite interesting. Uh, yeah, we didn't pick up bad mangas, I told you. Did we? Did we? I mean, I don't love all of them uh, right now, but uh, generally, really, every manga we, we picked up are continuing in a good way I feel anyways I think we're going in the right direction Gabimaru yep the island flora is getting denser and more aggressive and more chaotic an endless circle of life and death but at a crazy fast pace we're gonna be in a danger if we don't find a way to stop it spreading all over the island yeah good thing you can produce fire at will we wouldn't go further without it. So, um, Gabimaru? Oh. Ah, so how should I put it? Well, where did you learn to do that? I mean, um... You called me a scary killer ninja before, right? Y yes. It's simple then. I am one. It's just how it is. Killing is what I did, a lot. Until I decided to stop, to leave my village and try to live a peaceful life. Your village? Yep, the village of Iwagakure. Where I was taught how to become an elite shinobi assassin. I didn't know there was such a place, so that's where you learn all those difficult techniques. With my ninjutsu, I can set myself on fire and raising my body temperature to ignite the oil in my skin. Told you! Wow, it must be crazy, crazy dangerous to learn how to do that. Really? But, but you're not like not right. I mean, putting your own life at risk like that. 
Yep, my own life takes top priority, and I'm not planning to die. I survive whatever the cost. Okay, I can take care of myself. Let's go. So he's not here to protect the captain. That's the, the point here. If captain dies, too bad. More and more plants. This routine is getting old fast. Over there! There are creepy statue in the middle of the jungle. Oh, that's new. It looks like a standing Buddha, but... But something feels wrong. Captain, I think the fog is still messing with my scanners. They are telling me this statue is alive. Analysis also shows that the flora infestation is especially potent around it. Yeah, well, it's covered in flowers and plants, so there's definitely a link here. there. Gotcha. It should burn like the rest of them. Okay, so you have new traps that we never see before. This kind of cactus-like stuff. Do you want to try it? Let's kill the first one and see. Oh no, not the first one. We'll try to go in the, in the trap just, just for fun to see what they do. Oh, I think we saw. So they are, they are like, if you go there, nearby, they will get their spi spikes out. So this statue is doing... Um, yeah, let's try to get hit by that. Let's not be hit too much because I will die here. Yeah. By playing the game, I, I want to do some other stuff that you know. I, I talked about the update I want to do on, on the the last update that I, that I want to do until June, and I am thinking that some noise is missing for the statue. You know, like uh, each time he does something, you know, really. Not loud, but really, like, deep. <clears throat> yeah, definitely something is missing here. It was not, like, it was kind of in purpose. I think this this uh, animation was done quite at the end. Because we we needed, like, the player to understand that, that some stuff come out of this uh, statue. And if you don't kill it, then bad stuff will happen. So what she does is she's making growing um, stuff in the ground and this stuff when it grows it creates new traps and new spikes and stuff. And if you let let it then um, all the plants, see like when, when uh, the statue get broken all the stuff in the ground disappear too. Because you have like plants that are linked with it. That's the system. Wait a second, I just need to do a little break. Really small break. Just receive some stuff and I wonder if it's linked with the... No, it doesn't seem to me. Don't, don't say the musician didn't do a fucking great one. Love it. My friend, my friend Thomas Olson. 
You did a really, really good job. I'm so proud of what you did. Not proud. I'm so glad of what you did for us here. Okay, let's get rid of this. Because I need to kill all enemies, that means I need to kill all sta statues as well. Oh, four. That's rare. So the monster doesn't get hit by those uh, traps because those traps are have consciousness I would say you know it's plants that are aiming at the characters but um, in the future we'll have mechanical uh, spikes like that and they hit also the monsters and so, oh no, shit. And so it's quite um, what we try to do in general with our games is like we have um, FX and, and uh, I almost died here. We have FX and, uh, and uh, mechanics that we use. Let's say, for example, we can push people. Okay, so we can push a character. How can we use that in different ways to not be redundant and still be a little bit different, enough different to feel, like to feel different? Uh, and after that, you know, you change the asset uh, visual and uh, and you have a new traps or monster or whatever. And also how it is still um, enough different to have the need to use it. Because like, you can have something that is... Um, that feels really different, but uh, when you play it, then you realize, oh no, actually it's doing the same... Uh, effect than the other one. Let's say, for example, if we have. Um, oh no, I don't have an example here. <laughs> uh, shit. For example, like those those spikes, okay? Those uh, cactus are there for you to block the movement. You don't want to go there because you don't want to get hit, but you could try, right? And so those one, like the spikes on the ground, are doing the same thing but on one tile. So they are um, enough different because those one are taking like a big area when this one are taking only one. And the other difference is this one can be hit only by Gabi and this one can be hit by Boss. So you have kind of similar because it's just like an area stuff uh, killing you if you go on the tile. So a trap, but both have enough difference to 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 be interesting enough, right? And so the the also the flames are here to kind of counter, that. and it is always like that. We try, for example, like the um, you have the a flower bud here, growing monsters. We had the the eggs that were also growing monsters, but like the egg is one time. So the egg, if you kill the egg before the monster get out, then the monster will not come, and that's it. If you let it go, you let it leave, then it will hatch, and then have a monster that is a little bit more powerful than the other one. This flower bird is kind of similar. But the monster is slightly different, so it's not. It's uh, I think it's quicker and have less life, but uh, still quite strong in terms of uh, damage. And as long as you didn't kill the flower, it will continue popping stuff. And then you have the portal that you, we saw on the princess episode, and the portal takes a lot of uh, area, so you can like drop it anywhere on the map, right? It takes a lot of space, and so you have a lot of space to to kill it as well. A lot of lives as well and every turn he will pop randomly between one or two 
monsters on a list that is defined and the more you wait the more the monsters might be uh, strong and so you yes it's like a little bit like the flower uh, you know it's a mix it's, it's kind of same type of system but each time is uh, different enough for example even even this one like the the statue is he each turn it's spawning this kind of grass on the ground and then this grass if you have a square of uh, I think nine of those then in the middle he will pop randomly or a wall or a trap you know and so using all those systems that we really simple systems together uh, with with uh, reactions and stuff like that is kind of the key of how we design uh, our games in general or like the variation of each level Captain, the radio signal is getting worse the more you progress inside the island. Okay, JP, let's limit radio contact to tactical information then. Roger that. Detecting a white structure surrounded by walls in the center of the island. Yeah, I can see a gate in front of us. <laughs> and more traps and monsters to guard it. There's something scared in the air, a secret in the air. With all these statues lined up, the whole place feels a bit scary. Let's be careful and destroy the statue as quickly as possible. Yep, let's not keep our welcome committee waiting them. Run, dun, dun. Okay. I really like the boss of, of this episode. Uh, it's quite unique. Can't wait to go there, but also get a little bit afraid because even me I die quite often on this boss this is difficult really like some episodes are more challenging than others I, I feel or maybe depending on what kind of player you are but like uh, for me this boss I think it's maybe the most mm, most challenging Missing a song here. Yeah. Oh. It's my coffee and everything, which is good. Again, like the red drops of, of those or orbs, I said I think I will do an, uh, an update also to make them slightly less because then you can do like the power combo every time. So I need to reach the level end, but I cannot like open the doors. Or can I? Maybe it's hidden there. You know, I really don't remember. Um, so it's kind of cool actually for me because I, I rediscover stuff. Actually, <laughs> I think even I did this level, so I created it, but I don't. If I hid like a. a something to activate the door or if we need to kill all the statue to open the door I think probably that's the case like we need to kill all the statue to open the door yeah generally speaking like if you don't know what to do just kill everyone it's horrible <laughs> they don't like killing life forms but they wanted to kill us first. Oh yeah, that was it. Captain, I detect another bomb falling from space to our position. This one will explode in, explode in 14 turns. Run! Okay, so here we have this freaking artillery that we saw in, in the princess uh, episode, right? And they really <laughs> hit far. So what is good with uh, Gabimon is because he can dash, 
through stuff, then he can quickly go out of this situation. And also because we have only 12 turns, it's quite stressful, we need to go forward. Wait a second, so... So we are here, we need to do da 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 and go there, there. It's time we go here because we have a statue, probably you will have more traps and stuff here. And then we have a gold jumper, if we are a little bit stressed out with movement point and all that in our life, we can go kill it and then we have a lot of movement point. But because it will be so crowded here, it's already crowded if you look at that, uh, we might die quickly, so let's go. Step by step. Kill that first. Yeah, let's show that. And a statue behind me. We will not kill the statue. Too much life point. Too much life turn. Lost. On the thing. Oh no! Forgot about the cactus. What I like on, on those kind of chapter where you have uh, a lot of little stuff to kill, like the ground here, or like on uh, Princess chapter you had this kind of goo, spiky goo stuff, is that if you kill enough you have life back too. So sometimes when you don't know what to do, just like rape, like clean everything might save you. Again, too much power combo. <clears throat> yeah, it's full again. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> Four turns, I mean. Easy peasy. <clears throat> okay, we should be safe here. We can take some rest. <sighs> I'm not sure I can relax in this place. I'm really not a big fan of these ruins. Do you think we are in a temple? It's scary with this creepy statue everywhere. You know, it's kind of late, but I will maybe change on that. You don't like temples? Yeah, well, I guess they remind me of death. Sure. You said that you kill a lot of people, but are you, aren't you afraid of death? I mean, for example, do you think there's something after, die, after we die? Why do you even care? I don't worry about it too much, but... Well, I just recently lost someone I know and... I see. But... I know nothing about that. Okay. <clears throat> you know... I don't like to kill. Never did. I learned to have no attachment to our life, especially my own. At my core... I was a ninja, but I met someone and everything changed. Sometimes I rolled the air, sometimes not, so I don't know what to do, sorry. Now my own life takes top priority. I need to survive and make it home. So when it's kill or be killed, mm, I kill. I just want to live more, not to do great thing or rule over other. Just to enjoy the little moment of everyday life. Little moment, a good nap, sharing food, laughing. Strangely, that's something I am ready to sacrifice everything for. The quiet and peaceful moment of a simple life. I think I understand. And I just hope that this someone you're talking about, 
got to enjoy this peaceful moment. I think he did. Yeah, I'm sure he did. I feel better, Gamera. Thanks. Good. Let's go then. The heart of the infestation gotta be close. So, for people who didn't saw the start, uh, Damia just lost his grandpa, and so he's in front of a Utsu down. It's a little temple shelf. <laughs> Uh, praying, praying, not really, yeah, putting incense for his uh, grandfather. And so, all this battle now it's about death and losing someone and uh, loss, let's say. Okay, destroy the statues, four statues. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, it must not be too hard. <clears throat> yeah, those, those yellow orbs, the more I see them, the more I feel we need to get rid of some. Having a, a, a lower rate of drop, just that. It will already change. Already change a lot. Wow. Why would I need to? Oh yeah, okay. If I kill that... Okay, I open the bridge here. So here we go on the captain here. Try to get this. Oh shit, I will need three turns to do that. So maybe I will to, to take both characters. And then... I say we have a lot of orbs, so. And Golden Trumper would give me a lot of movement points, so then I just need to go there. Da -da 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 -da. There are a little bit of few points. last bridge I need to take some annotation like some notes because I see some stuff I would like to improve even if the game is released and and, uh, and kind of it's been mm, ab abandoned by you say who you know who you don't you don't say who you, you know who just take some notes, sorry for that. This orbs sound or the statues or orbs often. Okay. Have like some some details I'm um, I see we can it's really details probably uh, no, no player will see it. the the orb stuff maybe some player will if they play again after they can say oh that's more difficult than I that I was playing before but that might be it
Hmm, that's a good spot. But I still will be hit. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh. It is great when you when you can like just hit every everyone you want in one blow. So why all those uh, flowers and stuff is is because in the manga you have uh, something about that about like you have flowers and, and uh, nature come taking back life or so transforming life let's say that's a big one oh that's the that's the level just before the boss. And again, for people who knows the manga, that's the temple of the, the gods in the manga. We don't call that like that here. It's just like, you know, we do like, like all those stories is, is almost like an Easter egg story the whole time. So people who doesn't know the, the, the manga just have a nice adventure. The people who knows the manga have a original story with Easter eggs. Or let's say, yeah, kind of wink wink, you know, type of situation where, oh, I know that. Yeah, that's that's probably that. And that's kind of it, so that's why I, I think I'm, I'm quite happy how we did for... To open it for any players and not be stuck in a defined scenario. You know, IP games in general... Um... <clears throat> The company that give the list license or like rent the license wants you to remake this story as a game. Or uh, for the movies, have an original, like movies, no, but like have an original story that is canon uh, in the whole stuff. And generally, so the, the person who write the story is the person who writes the, I guess, yeah, it must be it, who write the manga or who write the, you know, animation. But in our case, we kind of had freedom to do our own story, but we needed to keep the character as really like a type of Kingdom Heart type of uh, situation where you have Mickey and Donald or whatever with Sephiroth, you don't know why. But it's kind of explained in a way that uh, makes sense to the player. It's kind of like that. You know? Everything makes sense in its own narrative, but it's not linked with any story in the manga. Like, the manga will not link with our game, simply say. But the game is linked with the manga. So. Okay, that's a bad situation here. Actually, here I'm not sure I need to kill all the statues. Maybe not. Maybe I can go to the end. No! Oh, yeah, I can. So I can just hit that that kind of crystal switch and get out. But if it's still fun to kill those, <clears throat> and because I have a lot of yellow orbs, then why not just do some gardening and kill everything? Again. 
Again. No, that was not a good position. For life. Oh, I'll begin. Poor people. Poor monsters. They were just here doing their own business, and I come here and just like. Kids, so Sorry, it's way too much. Like every turn I have the possibility to do that. Welcome. If you are good enough. Me. Obviously. Bye B. Yep. Nothing left. All clean. Thank you, Mr. Gardener. Let's get out of here. Kill the four statue. Oh, I had a um, achievement for destroying the four statue at this last level. Captain, careful! In front! To deck! What, JP? It's cutting off. I can't hear you. Wolves, sores, fog. The fog is blocking the radio signal. What are you trying to tell us, JP? It's pretty obvious. We are standing in the source of the flora infestation. Look over there. Something is carved in that wall. What's that? It looks like an old man. Stay alert. The floor is changing very quickly around here. And the enemy army gathered in front of the statue to stop us. We are definitely at the right place. No choice then. Just gonna burn them all. Then to reach it. Ready, Captain? Yep. I'll cover you, Gabby. Gabby, my brother, my brother. Cannot talk anymore. You know, it's morning. I just finished my coffee. I want a second one. I can't. Just be, be kind. So, activating video gun! Okay, so as I said, this boss is not the easiest one. But, because now I know that I will have a lot of power orbs, I will just kill a lot of stuff. And do that. You know, take those power orbs and... Sha! And break loose. So I, f I feel that we don't have a limit of power orbs on this uh, episode. It is possible that it's in this episode. Normally you have a limit of three power orbs at the same time, and so... It's not good that the developer play its own game, because now I feel I'm working again. <laughs> But for me it's good because I want I want the best game. I, I mean I want it to be 
best as possible and it feels it's already good so yeah it will be ever better if I update this kind of stuff so now I think yeah I can hit this old guy already to start again No! Okay, okay, okay. Told you I might die on this, this boss because it's kind of a level type of boss. If you go too quick, you die really quickly. And those statues also like the... The thing with the stitch statues is that if I go hit the boss, they will stay. I just get back and you have more stuff to kill, so... You kind of need to clean as much as possible. Like every monster stay like they don't die if you if you just like um okay, nice. <clears throat> they don't die if you if you hit the monster and I hit it only once so I still have two time to survive here. But I will try to show you to not kill that person. Stay in the way. He's taking really. I think like the system also for for um, friendly fire. Let's say for a boss and stuff like that. Is that they don't do the same damage to their own kind than us. So if I get hit by those those spike stuff I might get really hurt when they have like maybe I don't know 5 HP or like a few HP taken on his own unfair <laughs> still still it's it's interesting for me that they kill each other it's the last blow, so if I kill it now, it will not be difficult anymore after that. So I guess it's good now that I kind of rush and try to go quickly to the boss. Like that, I, I, show, I can show a let's play where I don't die um, painfully. <laughs> okay. Am I dead? Am I dead? <sighs> oh, they are pushing me. I forgot that. Those MF are pushing me back, and so they push me back in, in traps and stuff. Oh, that will be good. That will be good. Let's do that. Sha. <laughs> Too much orbs. What's going on here? Two, three, four, five, six. Let me write that down. No, that 
that's that that's good, but that's not good. I mean, but like it's not in purpose. The limit is not working, or I don't have the last version. That's possible that I'm playing also another version. That's possible, but not probable. Still live, still doing it, but maybe I'm searching too much those power orbs and I need to go. Yeah. Okay, you're done, old man. Not yet. life all movement points just need a pop okay full life not full life anymore it goes really quick like Yay! the crystal the crystal the infestation has stopped all around us did we do it yep the carved stone wall is clean now we can clearly see the face of the statue. Wow! He can... He kinda... Yeah, he kinda looks like my... Gr-gr-gr-gr-gr... He doesn't say... Captain! Do you copy? Captain! Davy, yes, yes, I copy! Good to hear your voice! The fog is dissipating around the island! You did it! So, Gabimaru? What will you do now? Well, if you're looking for a way back, why don't you come with me? They are all other like us. <laughs> I've got to get home. I do whatever it takes to get there. And at the moment, the most likely way to do that seems to be to work with you. You've listened to all of my worries and you've taught me something important. So I would love to have you with us. Welcome aboard the Velvet Wonder. I don't really know anything about your worries. I'm counting on you. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Mr. Kabimaru. Just Kabimaru. <laughs> what is funny? What is funny? Little prick. Okay, so he's finally praying the death of his, fa his grandfather. So the, the little story here is that Damien's family uh, are moving back to Japan. They, they lived in France for more than 10 years. He's 10 years old, so he knows only France. But like, he came in, in holidays in Japan sometimes, met his grandfather, grandmother every year once, let's say. Let's say, because I don't know, it's not the real story, right? Uh, but it's kind of like the, the concept. And then the grandfather dies, and uh, it's sad, but because of that, they need to decide because the family has a uh, family business, right? Like, um, that's why they have a big home. And so the father, who is a businessman, and need to, like, they need to help the grandmother and the family, and they are in a situation where they need to decide, do we stay in France doing what we do, or do we go back to Japan, take the family business, help the grandmother, um, and, and do all the necessary stuff that are left out by the, the death of the grandfather. <clears throat> and so for Damien, it's just like, he knows his grandfather, but like, not really, really well. He loves him, but like, it's, you know, maybe he met him 10 times, like, a, you know, once a year. And so he still have a, this kind of detachment in the same time that he's, yeah, he liked it. Him, he, he liked him. And so he was shocked to see that 
in the house in Japan, you you keep the memory of the of the those people for a long time. Uh, for example, in, in in my family, I mean in the my wife's family, the the father of my wife is dead, like kind kind of some years ago now, more than ten years ago. And they always have this put down with him, and every morning we say hello to him, you know. So that's a cultural stuff that uh, Damien needs to kind of learn. And I think after after this episode, is it's what he learned, you know, like okay, from now on you are not here anymore, but you are kind of always here in the house. And I will like put some incense in the morning and say hello, hi, you know. <clears throat> Everything is so quiet suddenly. The wind is blowing through our garden. I can hear people talking and laughing in the distance. You know, Grandpa, I just met you in France a few times and I didn't really know you at that well. But I'm sorry I wasn't there for you, your funeral. We just arrived in Japan and I never got to say goodbye. Sitting here in your home, next to your garden, makes me want to know more about you, Grandpa. Grandpa, I'm sure that you enjoy the little moments of everyday's life. Thank you for letting us stay here. I try to, I try my best to be careful with your things. Sayonara. Ciao. Back to the spaceship. Here you have, so the character we, we already played with, you have, not play with, like fight with, you have Princess. Phew, after a battle, I love to have a hot meal. No joke, she's always eating. No, she's not always eating, but she loves to eat. You have uh, Kaiju, uh, like Hibine of Kafka from Kaiju Hachiko. Uh, Kaiju number eight, sorry. We push back the enemy force, but for how long? Then you have Yabimaru that we just play with. I hope they'll learn from this and give up attacking us. And then we played with Crow. <clears throat> Threat elimination complete. Okay. So, um, Lloyd Forger is the last episode, so we cannot take it. We have um, Chloe Love, Slime, and Ushio that we can select. I would go for... Hmm, I think I would go for... Ushio for the next episode. So let's just have a hint of what it is. And then we will stop the the stream here. For today. Uh, where is Ushio is it? So when you go in the bathroom here what's happening is the following. Crouch in the bathroom. Ugh, disgusting. I'm sure his head must be monstrous. Shadow. Alright, that's mission for Captain Velvet Meteor. Versus the Shadow. Shadow Cockroach. So. That was it. Um, thank you for staying with me. Uh, so the next episode will be Captain Velvet Meteor and Ushio Kofune versus the Shadow. So Ushio Kofune is uh, a character from um, the manga co called uh, Summertime Render or Time Shadow in some other countries. And you have actually the animation on uh, Netflix. Uh, I might do also like some, you know, I did I did one uh, episode with Kaiju number eight because the Kaiju number eight animation will get out soon, and I might do some episode just to, sh to see a little bit what what are the manga about. But uh, yeah, for now I will just do the let's play, depending on my time also. So 
stay tuned uh, so the next wait a second let's say exactly where when the like next uh, live will be but I think it will be same day same hour next week so just need to check yep so next week uh, for you it's Wednesday uh, at 6 p.m. and for me it will be it's complicated it's Thursday here already uh, in the morning so <clears throat> stay tuned see you next week cheers bye bye